All right, another quick video showing the Jesuit style bitterness of Rich Pankowski and mounting evidence that he is likely some kind of Jesuit coadjutor sent to, to cause strife and division within, you know, true Bible believing saints. Because this guy is a blight upon the body of Christ. I've shown that in other videos. Sorry, my dog is in the background walking around. I probably hope he doesn't bark. But, you know, you can read the Jesuit Oath of Unction and multiple different aspects of it are displayed by Rich Pankowski and the multiple different characteristics of a coadjutor, as well as the fact that Rich Pankowski teaches multiple different Catholic, you know, heresies, Jesuit doctrines, you know, especially when it comes to the gospel. A lot of what he says is basically can be found in the Council of Trent. Uh, it was had Jesuits that presided over it pretty much almost word for word when it comes to salvation. So uh, he is... Uh, showing a lot of red flags of a Jesuit coadjutor. And one of the big signs of a Jesuit coadjutor is just this anger and bitterness towards their enemies. This is an excerpt from the Oath of Unction. It says, I furthermore promise and declare that I will, when opportunity presents, make and wage relentless war, secretly or openly, against all heretics, Protestants, and liberals, as I am directed to do, to expedite and exterminate them from the face of the whole earth, and that I will spare neither age, sex, condition, and that I will hang, waste, boil, flay, strangle, bury alive these infamous heretics, rip up the stomachs of the wombs of their women, uh, crush their infants' heads against the walls in order to annihilate forever their ex uh, sorry, excredible race. I'm not good at reading on a computer. Uh, that when the same cannot be done openly, I will secretly use the poison cup, the strangling cord, the steel, or the uh, laden bullet, regardless of honor, rank, uh, authority, or dignity. Uh, or, or the sort of the person or persons, whatever may be their condition in life, either public or private, as at any time I may be directed to do so by any agent, either of the Pope or Superior or the Brotherhood of the Holy Faith, the Society of Jesus. And you'll see this a common trait. For example, Martin Richling, a proven Jesuit coadjutor, displays the exact same type of just, just ranting bitterness against his enemies. Why? Because Catholics, you know, the, the history of the Catholic Church, even before the, the conception of the Jesuit order, has been that of just complete bitterness and rage towards their enemies. Without the shedding of the blood, there's no, you know, uh, without the shedding of the blood of the heretic, there's no remission of uh, sins, talks about in the, in the Oath of Unction. So Roman Catholicism has been a bloodthirsty cult from the start. And a common trait of these Jesuit coadjutors is when you rebuke them or, or anybody who goes against them, they just have this obsessive, you know, uh, rage and obsessive, you know, they go into a satanic frenzy against whoever opposes them or rebukes them or exposes them. And you're going to see that here with Rich Pankowski as he goes into a 12 minute tirade against Eric Love, a man who's done plenty of videos exposing his wickedness. So check this out and just notice just the complete rage and just notice his eyes, how devil possessed he looks. Check this out. And now, <clears throat> so. Today, I had, I had heard about a man in Tulsa, Oklahoma, who was arrested for cyber stalking, who was literally arrested and put in jail for what Eric Love is doing to me. Now, this is a man, we talked about obsession, we talked about, you know, let me show you something here. Is this something a Christian does? Is this what a Christian man with a wife and children does? Sits at home with a computer with a file specifically dedicated to to me a man who sits around and makes cartoons out of my image a man who after three years or whatever it's been is still making fake profile of other people is still uploading he's got a whole new platform i was told or uh, whatever uh, rumble or bitch shoot or one of the two i don't know whatever one it is and is literally the past few days uploading videos about me again every day spending his time on me is that a christian is that how a Christian behaves? Look at this guy's folder. PC downloads. Attach this guy is a sick bastard. Look at this. Look at this. This is what he does with his time. He sits around making cartoon images of me. No, I don't. I here's the proof. So, again, it was pointed out to me today that there is somebody sitting in prison today for this, for stalking and harassing online in Oklahoma, apparently. So we're going to see if something can be done there. Because when a guy so when a guy comes on to my YouTube channel here and just incessantly makes fake problems with others to purposely disrupt, annoy, harass, that's a crime. It's not a Christian behavior either. This is sick. Like, this is seriously deranged behavior.
I find it odd too that some of his followers are crying because people are saying to them about uh, saying to them, it's not fair to judge me on my life. You don't even know me, but they do it to everybody else because they're not saved. Again, just because you're, um, just because you're not pissed at whipping women anymore, doesn't mean you're not beating people up. Just because you're not punching people or selling drugs near school anymore doesn't mean you're still not a scumbag. Instead, you use YouTube, and instead you make stupid accounts. Oh, Rich Pankowski just farted. Yeah, because that's what Christians do. So just screenshot these profiles. I need the names. If you can get a screenshot of the account, I need that too, if you can. And we're gonna do. We're gonna build our file more so than we already have. We have lots already, but we're gonna strengthen it up to the point where, look, I don't care anymore. You know, he three strikes, you're out, misdemeanor or not. You got two felonies in the record. You go to one more time, you go to jail for a long time. And of course, Rich Pankowski is trying to separate me from my family. <laughs> Stop being a criminal. Stop doing illegal things. Stop harassing. Stop stalking people, and you won't go to jail. We already know, and just for you guys to know, he has been making fake accounts of people on Facebook as well, and he blocks the original so they can't see it, and then comes onto my platforms pretending to be them, and then says it's not him. It, it is him. It absolutely is. And then he makes fake profiles of himself and says, I do it as a way to attack me. Him or one of his little, little goon school, one of his little cult followers, because again, we're going to do a video soon on the marks of a cult because there are lots of them out there. But the leader of the cult is never wrong, is always right regardless of what they say, never feels the need to repent, lies. That's what they do. So we are taking the guy, and I'm not even joking about it. I'm not, whatever, I'm done with it. I'm sick of it. You know, these guys, I, I, you know, we're going to be going to SOPA, and, and the word's already out there that these guys, him and his little, his little friend there from Tennessee is going to fly down there especially to rebuke me. Because after all, they got to get out with the pride people to rebuke Ruben Chavez and Rich Pankowski. So they can go, we rebuked them. <laughs> a dude is literally flying from Tennessee who's never flown anywhere to preach anywhere ever. He's never left Tennessee or that little corner of Franklin. And that's it, in Kentucky. Only around that area. Just to go, that's, that's literally stalking. And they'll come out to the pride event because he can't, I'll be there. We all know how he's probably, which is going to be here. Ooh. He's masking his love, his hatred. Watch, you'll see. He won't be able to control himself. He has to. Go look at the video of him when he rebuked Ruben. The guy literally jumped in his car. You could see he was shaking with it. He couldn't wait. He was shaking. He was so excited to go meet Ruben. He was so, oh my gosh, I'm going to meet my hero. He was shaking and giddy with it. Because I believe the guy is a closeted homosexual. Because only homosexuals act that way. Or complete reprobates. But I digress. So again, you guys, those of you who are emailing me stuff, if you do see him on other channels, I, I know I told you guys to stop emailing me, and I, I'm not going to mention names because some of you follow the same channels. Email me. The screenshots. Not just the link to the channel, because uh, I really don't, some of the channels he's on, I don't even know who these people are. But I need the screenshots of him, and, and if you can, whoever else he's trying to say whatever, I need that as well. Uh, I don't need the link to the channel, I could care less. Uh, I just need proof that he is the one saying and doing this on these people's platforms, that's all I need. Um, and I'll email, you know, whoever, you know, after this as well. But uh, yeah, we're not, we're not playing games anymore. I, I've hit, I think I've been more than patient. I think I've been more than long-suffering. But I'm sorry, when, when you get this guy every single day, three, four, five profiles every time I do a video coming on here, going on Facebook, pretending to be other people, literally have files dedicated to me where he's sitting around making cartoon images of me all day. This is what this guy does. When he's peeping and creeping on my daughter's profile, gets caught and says, it's because Rich and Amanda were using it. 
No, actually, we weren't. I have never used my daughter's profile. That's a flat out lie. He only says that because he got caught looking at her profile. He's looking at an underage girl's profile. The same guy has ads for bondage gear and children's underwear on Facebook popping up. And then he says, it's not because what you searched. Then when we pointed out and showed him that YouTube's very own things, how you ads appear, oh, my neighbor must have hacked my Wi-Fi. Right. Right. Your neighbor hacked your Wi-Fi. Then he takes a screenshot because there's an ad in my videos for something LGBT and says, oh, look at that. Rich has got LGBT ads on his thing. The problem was that LGBT ad is because that's what ads prop up for your viewing. I don't have any LGBT ads pop up in any of my stuff ever. And we preach against it a lot. So in order for you to be having an advertisement for something LGBT to pop up, it's because you're watching it and you took a screenshot like it's against me. Like I have ads. But no, the ads that you see are because of your search history and what you're looking up on Google. <laughs> I mean, you know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. He's watching tonight, Rich, and commented on his channel about being called a reverend as being sinful. Of course it is. Everything is sinful. This is the same guy that says, I'm an adult being remarried, but yokes up with JT, whose wife is remarried. But that's okay. He gets a pass. Who actually makes video after video because we accept donations, but his own followers made a whole video about how they corrected their PayPal so they can get donations. That's okay. They're the biggest hypocrites on the planet. The biggest hypocrites. And by the way, that's how they address me. I don't ever call myself that. The problem with guys like that is nobody would ever want him testifying in any House committee on any bill because he's a scumbag. <clears throat> he's watching comment on the channel about being called a reverend. Everything is sinful. Everything everybody else does is sinful, except for what he does. His obsession, not sinful. His stalking, not sinful. His sitting around making computer program or computer images of me all day, not sinful. His lying and slander, not sinful. Rich Penkoski lies. No, actually, I haven't. If I did, he would have sued. And believe me, he would have if he could have. But everything out of that guy, I have so much. I would love for him to try. I would, I would love for him to try. So what I called Rich, I said he sexually molested his daughter. I took that video down. Mm, yeah, taking it down doesn't absolve your responsibility. You still said it, even though it wasn't true. You never actually said, I, was I lied about that. He won't do that. He can't say that because then he admits he's a liar. Same guy does says that my case, that my, his case against me was dismissed because there was no case. Oh, no, they're a lie. I have the email we've shared it where he agreed to stop harassing and stalking me in exchange for dropping the restraining order. It, he tried to have it dismissed, and the judge said no. It was dismissed because he said he would stop stalking and harassing me. Now, that's out there. And, of course, his excuse was, well, the judge didn't sign it, so I'm not going to buy with that. Oh, great, so now we know you're not a man of your word, thus making you a liar. <laughs> so we know for a fact, with proof, actual evidence, not something that I've, a, a video clip that I've put together to try to frame a narrative around, this is what he said. There's this, we had the screenshot. We put it up there from his lawyer. It's there. And then he didn't do that. Whether a judge signs it or not, if you're a Christian, you're supposed to be a man of your word. Let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. But let me guess, it's not sinful for him. And that's okay. Again, this is, this. but I'm, I'm, why am I talking about this? Because if you're a Christian, you're, when you're a threat to the enemy, this is what's going to happen. The enemy is going to do these kinds of things because the end look this is a guy who literally cried to youtube to try to take down the okay groomer channel which is being used to expose the drag queens what they're doing to children well, now why would a christian want that channel taken down i wonder why would a christian want that that's what i said he said the judge didn't sign it why would a christian want a channel that's literally just there to expose the drag why would he want that taken down Hmm, I wonder, why would a man who calls himself a Christian want that channel taken down? 
Hmm. Wonder why. Could it be because he himself is a groomer? Maybe he likes the grooming videos? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can look up Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 down to verse 21, about the lust of the flesh. Pinkowski pretty much displays all of them to a T, you know, and a 12 minute little tirade, you know. And, and just notice how just the anger and the bitterness. He, I mean, he looks like he's devil possessed in that video too. It's insane, but it is a tactic of a Jesuit coadjutor. They're very bitter against anybody who exposes them or goes against their system. You know, they have a, the Catholic Church has a long history of, of bloodshed that out, you know, that pretty much puts Islam to shame. Which, by the way, Islam is a conception, you know, was a was a creation of Rome, plain and simple. But yeah, just another example of Pinkowski showing red flags of a Jesuit coadjutor, just this extreme anger and obsessive, you know, bitterness towards their enemies. Plain and simple. Because Bible believers, when we disagree with somebody, we, we sort it out with scripture, and if not, well, you part ways. With with a lost Jesuit code Judah, or with, with throughout Catholic history, they can't let it go. They just obsessively wanting to go after that person, obsessively wanting to attack that person. They want to just fight and destroy that person, plain and simple. And Bikowski displays all the attributes of proven Jesuit code Judahs, that, that basically proven Jesuit code Judahs like Martin Richling displayed. Plain and simple. So don't be deceived by this wicked devil. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.